15.2g, multiply conjugates. Remember that a conjugate looks exactly the same except for the sign is opposite. Let's see what happens when we multiply these conjugates together. First, we get a squared minus ab plus ab minus b squared. The middle terms drop out as when you add them together, they become zero. This gives us a squared minus b squared. Remember, always be sure your answer is simplified. Let's see how this applies to the expression below. Here's example one. As you can see, this is once again, they are conjugates. Let's start foiling them together. Four and four make sixteen. The next is negative eight square root seven, then positive eight square root seven, and then negative four square root seven squared. As you can see, because these were conjugates, the middle two terms will drop out because they become zero. This gives us sixteen minus four square root seven squared. This becomes sixteen minus four times seven, or sixteen minus twenty-eight, which gives us a final answer of negative twelve. As you can see, when you multiply two conjugates together that have radicals, you will get to an answer with no radicals. Let's see this again in example two. Here's example two. Once again, we have conjugates. As you can tell, they are exactly the same except for the sign in the middle. And this time, there is a root in both the first and the second term of each. Let's start by foiling, which gives us four square root three squared plus two square root eighteen minus two square root eighteen minus square root thirty-six. As you can see, since they were conjugates, the center two terms will drop out, giving us four times three, because the square root of three squared is three, minus six, because the square root of thirty-six is six. This gives us twelve minus six, which gives us a final answer of six. Once again, we've gotten to an answer that has no radicals. Remember, when you are multiplying two conjugates together to use FOIL and that the center or two middle terms will add together to become zero. Also, if you're using conjugates that have radicals, your final answer should have no radicals.